So one would have to introduce it right now. <laughs> Your choice. OK. Uh, this is StarCraft 2. Um, I am not lemon channel. Can be pretty good. Um, RVR. I can't breathe. I'm laughing too hard. I know. <laughs> Shh. He, he might hear us. He might hear us. Shh. Uh, so uh, we have uh, Ziggity Zig, who isn't going to do his thing, and uh, that guy Griff. Woo! There you go. <laughs> There's the woo. Sorry, I, I, I didn't. I didn't woo. I should have wooed. SCB ready here. What's going on? Oh gosh. Uh, there we go. That was that. That intro was better than I could have hoped. That was for. so awesome. <laughs> See, oh, look, there, there's this. Why don't we get some of this next time? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yo. Tell me what you want, what you really want. What you yeah, really you really, want. really want to zig zig uh... Griff a Griff. <laughs> what would, what would we me mention at one point where we should have, uh, <laughs> we should change Griff's name to Griffity Griff so we could have Ziggity Zig and Griffity Griff? <laughs> kind of oh, like that. Come on, oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Bamps. You need to come down there. Yeah, you're gonna head right there. Um, ziggity zig. I, I don't like how ziggity zig uh looks just there. I'm pretty sure that's the proper grammar. How we feel every time we look at you. Oh wait, I'm gonna. I've done this wrong. Can I? See, I've done this poorly. Not enough minerals. Oh yeah. Not enough minerals. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking, Grant. Right? Not enough minerals. Uh, I think I want another one of these. And another of these. Yeah, boys. Can I do? No, I need. Ah. Stuff that I need to do. You can come up over there. <laughs> so, essentially... I'm really not even paying attention, but I'm thinking so, maybe I should. No, evidently not. Yeah. Uh, pretty standard build so far. Uh, not going to spoil the races or whatnot. Not yet, anyway. No. Actually kind of interested in what Zig is doing here. He's not doing what I th thought he might in this situation. No. No, I'm not. In fact, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Griff, I'm imagining we'll see a familiar game plan here, but it's to be determined at this point. Uh, What's going on? Insufficient Vespine gas okay. upgrade. All right. Oh, not really sure what to add. This is this an updated version of an old map that used to be like Arctic lo looking? No, this map has always looked like this. Hmm. It's not in the map pool at all anymore, but it was very popular for most of 2012. Oh yeah, the one I'm thinking of had gold in the middle. Uh, oh okay, I see. Ah! Look at the. So, any early game thoughts here, folks? Um, Starcraft is hard. Not enough. It, okay. It, it totally is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's um. Here's Plan B. Interesting. Can't really comment without spoilers, but uh, some fundamentals going on. <clears throat> And it looks Not like enough. we're about to see some Oracle play. By which I mean the world's latest Ling Rush. Sorry, really no, Ling that Rush. was a joke, it's that just... was a joke. It's a Ling look. Oh. You, get on there. Oh, okay, run away. Huh. That was bad. I was totally preparing for air. Sorry. No, that was, no it's alright. That was some, supposed to be a little bit of levity. But, uh, well, it worked. Sure. Okay, and if you uh, lose, you will credit it to that. Ah, oh, no, I'm not that petty. Oh, here's um, the thing that I need to do. So obviously to do. now both players know we've oh, got man. a little uh, Terran Bird right. matchup here. 
Oh, that's interesting. Ah, oh, that thing that I always forget to do. That's, yeah, interesting uh, placement by Griff on that one structure there. Yo. Uh, hmm. Wouldn't have expected that. Uh, got some other, other stuff going down. Oh, that was stupid. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Zig not really expecting the finer points of the build that he's seeing so far. No, not quite yet. Got it. And another one of you. Because realistically, I should probably separate y'all down here. Yeah. And... Okay, good job on the inject so far. No, I'm not. Am I? Really? Uh, when I looked for five seconds. <laughs> well, that's excellent. Yay. Yeah. Um, definitely a different tale of the tape in terms of units and uh, resource collection here. I we see a big old follow of some circlings. I don't know if I can take any of this down. Yeah, There's I might not be able to take the front door down. Nope, I don't think so. Not with that. What, are you afraid of my so, widow mine there? I was a little afraid of the widow mine. That is, that is uh, effectively what was going on. Huffed and puffed, but I could not blow down the supply depot. Okay. We require oh, that button levels. is that. Oh, not that. So we see a much different uh, strategy with resource collection and uh, uh, in terms of. God damn, damn it, Tan is stupid. Oh, what you call it? Here we go. Oh dear. I, just I know what that's that doing up. now. Wait! That's not what I wanted. I wanted to. There we are. No. Oh. oh, he catches wise, but not in time. Not quite in time because if I bring now the you question over, here is does that? Uh, there it goes. Ah. Does it have cloak? It Darn does. It. <laughs> Got a layer, but. <laughs> Woo! So All right, everybody. Game two here. Uh, we'll see if Ziggy can break his ways of losing constantly to the various races' oracle rushes. Um, we'll, we'll see if he's mathing, um, which is a joke. I don't think they've seen that yet. <laughs> they might have, though. I, I think they know. will have. I'm pretty sure this will either be two days before the first mathing reverence or the week after. Good luck, good fun. So what we have here is we have Daybreak, another classic map that dominated the ladder for most of uh, 2012. That Ross. Oh, very good commentary. That Ross never figured out in all of 2012, and we'll see if he remembers any of it. Now that it's not 2012 anymore. <laughs> um, I'm going to put up some nameplates, pretend like I know what I'm doing, production. <coughs> um, how do I hide? Uh, there's a way to hide the map and such, but I don't remember what that is. So, um, we've got some. St we got a standard Zerg opening. and uh, How do I chrono? we got a standard undead opening, which is an interesting strategy. <laughs> um the, I need to get my axe the necropolis has just finished uh, warping in. <laughs> um, <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? Warcraft three. I know. Um, yep, we have thrilling builds. Um, the fun never stops. Um, we see that we have one player slightly ahead of the other player, um, and then at the same time, that player who is ahead is also behind. In a strange sort of way. I appreciate the way in which you hedged your bets. No, no, it's actually it's actually not a hedged bet. It's a statement of fact that is car carried out in different manners. Oh, oh dear. All right, so, so we now know it's Terran versus Terran, and we found the early bit. Ziggy was ahead in supply, um, but Grant may be slightly ahead in tech is what we found. Um, okay. theoretically, somebody might know a thing. Um, both players, <laughs> play, both players should now know things. Um, whether or not they do, I can't say. Um, because, just because I saw it on a minimap does not necessarily mean that they saw it on a minimap. Or even on a map. Well, this could be trouble. Oh. Oh, we've got, we got some solid plays coming out here. 
Boom. Um, that's not good. Shaka laka. Because if there's one. Okay. So we we see uh, we have Ziggy's least favorite version of Terran. Of anything. Which is turtled with tanks. Um. Whoa. Why are you guys going there? Ha <laughs> ha! What we find is that Ziggy is baffled by his troop movements. Yep, that happens. And now his other troops are doing something weird. Everybody's going everywhere. Where are you guys going? Oh, oh, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna deal with it. Oh, so we got this up and running. It's not doing anything. Is this one doing anything? No, it's not doing anything. So we got things on the map. Things. Um, we got two supply blocks players. That's true. Uh, I need to live. That is the case presently. Oh, we got some some sick Terran skills going on. Um, we'll see uh, what the supply blocked plans are for our heroes. Ah. Ah, uh, there we go. We've got, uh, that's a rather classic Protoss or Zerg move, or a less so classic Terran. Um, but, whatever works. Okay. You can tell which one of these players has a slightly more Terran experience by looking at positioning of buildings that I'm clicking on, but I don't want to reveal to them. And even the unit, the, the unit compositions, um, the supply certainly tells a story here. Um, I'm not sure how that story is going to play out, uh, or if it's going to, anytime soon. I'm going to consider this to be the first intermission where I'd like to ask one of the players, uh, how do you feel the first period has gone so far, Ziggy? Are we in periods? Well, I don't know, you're not doing anything, so it must be an intermission. And so I was hoping for the stereotypical hockey player style intermission. Well, you never know when something exciting is going to happen. I never know when something exciting is going to happen. Come on, get down here. Get down, get All down, right. get down. Oh, wait, no. Nope. Oh, trouble there brew, trouble brew. Thanks, Lori. Thanks. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's oh gone. no! That's a whole medevac full of un un troops not oh, unloaded. Get out! What we find is that there's two medevacs full of doom drop. Three marines got out. Well, that's that's a story for sure. Wow, that did not. Things are difficult. I also I don't even know. That's where I'm at right now. Wow, that was a surprise. I need you. Give me a couple more of these. You. Oh, we, uh, let's see. We've got, we've got two flow, full economies on one side. We have two potential economies on the other side. Maybe. We got things going on. Who knows? I should have known better. Nah. The, the turtle battle. We've got we've got some strong defense set up on both sides. That's for certain. Um, they seem to know where where the where their avenues of weakness are. And are uh, taking measures to stop that. Actually, it's a um, it's a shockingly mirrored matchup right now. What did you say the button was to follow units there, Ross? Control F. It certainly isn't. Well, it is. Oh, if you hold it, if you just press it, uh, if you just press it, though, it just centers. 
and then they leave the frame. It's not a tap and let go type of thing. Okay, let's get some of these. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Okay. So we have almost no map vision for either side here. Um, nobody is uh, t taking. Which I find kind of strange. Zell Naga. We have an entirely unscouted portion of the map uh, by either player. We have. Oh, it's been spotted. Can it be stopped? No. Oh. Yeah, probably. Oh, be yeah. Stopped, you know? What you find is you have some stimmed bio, uh, easily killing the units as they drop out. Um, and. That will certainly happen. Uh, so we have. Uh, our supplies continue to be pretty even. Ziggy continues to stay on top of um, so being supply blocked. I, Despite me utterly questioning the decisions he makes in a way that I don't normally question him. Normally I just mock him, but now I have no idea what he's doing. I'm starting to think he truly has forgotten everything about this map. Or maybe not. Um, we see you seem OP. Seeming a bit OP with his mad drop defenses that we have going on here. Uh, Ziggy's been trying to harass in that manner and has really made no... Uh, let's look at workers killed. Um, well, the units killed and workers killed really tells a one-way story here, folks. Um, it's not even close. Uh, Ziggy has killed one unit. Woo! It was a worker. And I'm pretty sure that was Buddy on the, the Zelnaga Tower. Choo-choo! Alright, so... We've really settled in for the long haul. Um, we'll see if there's any upgrades going on. And let's see. I know I saw. I know I saw at least one missile turret this game, so there must be. Oh, we have a scan. A crucial scan, maybe. How do I see you? We do. Oh yeah, the money scan from UCMOP, giving him some info. Oh, I think I know what's probably going to happen here then. And Ziggy's uh, hoping for the best, as he uh, hopefully will not expose his flank in a way that makes him vulnerable. It probably will. And I will continue making vague statements in the hopes of making him second guess his moves and maybe be afraid. Boom! That's a lot of damage to the medevacs right off the bat. And the, Here comes some and more. the tanks start in before the engagement. The ravens die super quickly. We got Stim on one side, and we got we got one one for UCMOP, and I can't find out what Ziggy is because they keep dying too quickly. <laughs> I'm guessing they were zero zero, but I could not click on any of them. Game bonus. three, that guy Griff versus UC Mopi on Core Hall Compound, playing the full on uh, classic ladder match, ladder pool maps, grudge match type thing. I don't know. Just trying to see who can get to the cheese first, playing all randoms, or who can just sort of turtle as Terran the best. <laughs> oh, that's just sour. All <laughs> oh, that is. Well, I eventually made a uh, a tech lab on my factory because I thought, yeah, tanks, that's probably what's going to be handy here. But just for fun, I made ravens. Because I thought, you ain't going to stop me with no banshees or anything like that. <laughs> um, so up here on the, since this is a 1v1 map, we can say up here in the top right, we have that guy Griff. And down here in the bottom left, we have UC Mopi. Aha, so, uh -huh, now I know where he is. Well, it's kind of the opposite of where you are. I know, that's the joke. I know. <laughs> That's the joke. You suck, McBain. <laughs> oh, I've done this poorly. And if you see, this is the difference between the early, uh, early looks. I had sort of just curious, ex uh, exploring around the inside of one's base. And what they will find is that 
Griff, inside of his own base, he has his workers and a main building. And what uh, Yusuf P has is a main building and some workers as well. So, a very astute. Searching inside their own bases has not really led to knowing that much about what the opponent is doing in this matchup. However, it is possible that they will eventually move on to being able to see what's going on in the opposing players uh, base or area spot as you will but as you can see here just a whole lot of mineral collection going on in fact I'll bring this up right here and it'll kind of tell an interesting tale as to how many there may be and what seems to be going on and what what I find is going to be kind of interesting here is what's gonna pass underneath this particular oh I'm I'm seeing good things well an area you'll see something curious happened there, and I'm not sure what's gonna what's gonna be sort of any kind of preparatory event, as I think that might just have whipped through a secondary. Oh, I don't even know what's being grown there. Yep, I think I see what's being grown there, and there it is. A little bit of vision, and for some reason, I'm not quite sure what happened to these six pink guys right here, but they sort of thought about what they were doing and then decided against it. Now it seems there's probably going to be a little bit more possibly on the way behind that. This is the one thing that Griff usually has to contend with and just make sure that he can be be ready for is how many might be coming as a follow-up. But what has happened just there is the army supply, or at least the units killed, I believe, the about similar seven workers killed for UCMOP. There's another useful building right there. That is going to be the pool, but what is still telling a curious tale is that the income for that guy, Griff, because of Grant's obvious early pressure here, is going to be just a little bit ahead, so currently Griff has a small amount more money. Will it be enough to make the difference? I am unsure. But, what Griff now needs to watch out for, and what he hopefully did catch just there, is these two little guys coming in here for a little poke. But they are going to come up against some friendlies in the form of the same shape. But as they are racist, they are going to attack their their brethren of the same species all the same. And there we are, and it's a four-on-four four happening right here, and it's going to be a two-on-two two now. But it looks like these two have taken out the other ones, but there are a few more on their way. And for whatever reason, UC Mopi is keeping his attacking Zerglings on that one building aside from coming, instead of coming in here. But luckily, the Queen is up now, so the Queen will be able to range down that last little Zergling, and that is pretty much the end of the cheese. That guy, Griff, does manage to get out with what I believe was a 14 hatch? Uh, it was 15 hatch. Yeah, that was pretty good. It was a 15 hatch. Held on... Did pretty well. I hate when cheese doesn't work again. And guys. when cheese fails, oh. cheese fails. However, oh. I do like what's uh, what, what's happened back here at UCMOP's base, which uh, that, that guy Griff is going guys. to be able to currently see, as he can see that there is a spine crawler just over there. So now the overlords uh, just sort of hang out here, do the high five, classic high five, and just sort of stare at each other. But now, at the same token, we have uh, that guy, Griff, getting a little bit more into his groove, as it were, for Zerg. So in this classic ZVZ, we do see a number of uh, just little Zerglings hopping around on the map. Uh, as far as production goes, we've seen a few other buildings. Not too many worried about what sort of tech we're seeing, but it could just be a bit more of an army battle right now. So we'll see what happens with it with uh, that one expansion having happened, so Griff does ma maintain his expansion. Meanwhile, uh, Griff is down here, and he is pretty able... Yep, with this one, Overlord is going to get picked off by this queen just over here, the only air shooting unit in the game currently, just because of how early it is in the game, but um, you see Mopi, as Griff can see on his minimap, is slowly just crawling that creep just ever so, ever so forward, but the problem now is that just as this expansion does come down here for UCMOP, it's about to get eaten. And no, does not lose all the money for the hatchery, but does lose the drone that could have otherwise maybe built another one in a slightly different place, or perhaps put down a spine crawler. Now might be a good time for some more spine crawlers, and I think there might be two on their way. Ooh, three total currently. But for this number of army right now, we're looking at a 41 supply, and I believe there may have either been... No, it was not an extractor trick. It was a overlord being picked off, so uh, that guy Griff is now not able 
to reinforce quite in the same way that he would like to, and that... Oh, the uh, the army sizes are very similar, so these two armies of Zerglings, and it might seem to go in the favor of UCMOP, so when that guy Griff comes down here to try to enter in UCMOP's base, basically the base races are at a bit of a stagnation right now, however the two not quite able to macro up as much as they would like to since they do need to continue to make such such a number of defensive units. So at this point, they now need to figure out what they want to move into if they want to transition into some other unit of attack other than just a, a number of Zerglings, or perhaps even just a larger number of Zerglings, maybe get into a macro, base up, take as many as possible, that kind of thing. There are many options right here in a ZBZ, but we do see that the... Uh, let's see, do I get buildings? How do I get buildings up? Was that G? Nope, that's upgrades. Use units, where's buildings? I will find this. Uh, structures, T, obviously. So there we go, it's telling the spine crawler tale. Um, where there are a couple. So that guy, Griff, seemed to have taken down one of the spine crawlers, which was pretty handy. However, it does leave... Oh, did I? Uh, that was an unmicroed attack. No, you didn't. No, for some reason it's telling me that... Oh, oh maybe, maybe you did. Okay, no, you're right, because when you, when you hit structures, if they're up and walking around, that does not count as a structure for whatever reason. So it only caught, told me that there was two. However, here are a number more of Zerglings from... That guy Griff and E is going to be able to take out this one spine crawler, and UCMOP is going to have to cancel that hatchery one more time. And instead of running up the ramp into some more spine crawlers, that guy Griff decides that just taking out that one base is definitely enough of a burden against UCMOP. And now he is still, UCMOP is still limited to just one base, while that guy Griff is still comfortably on his two mining bases. We see a number of other units and a few other buildings in here as well. Also taking a page out of UCMOP's book by getting a couple of these creep colonies down. No spoilers there, because you guys are Zerg, you already know that this kind of thing is going to happen. I'm just not telling you what direction they're going in. They're going up! I'm going to get my creep colonies to the sky! Slow, slow peak round and expansion, UCMOP is just trying to make sure that he can maintain his position here within his base, still doing a checkout. There is a number more of... <laughs> of spine crawlers <laughs> and just uh, small flocks of overlords just sent around it's kind of interesting to see how everybody works their their overlords and where they where they put them you see one seems to like to keep his right here and ziggity zig is just or wait no that guy griff not ziggity zig that's me i'm ziggity zig hi he's over here on this side <laughs> So now just trying to figure out what kind of units we're going we're going to require here, what kind of upgrades we may need. Speaking of upgrades, it does seem like in that last little battle there was a small upgrade uh, discrepancy. Not really a huge one, but at least just a small one. I'm a little interested as, as to what's going to happen next, as the, the two do seem to be at a small amount of a stalemate here. Uh, and there is just a few more units just sort of being slowly moved around just there. And meantime... Oh, I'm not sure if these, these guys are going to be going anywhere. There's... Yep, here here come the flock. <laughs> and you see MOP and that guy Griff. If you look at the two visions right there, this is kind of what each other are able to see based on their initial views of things. So just sort of having a very limited knowledge, sort of the, only that early push between the, the battles of the Zerglings into each other's bases, and that is as far as their vision is able to take them, so realistically at this point, their vision is around five to six game minutes old. So, it's un, unlikely to to really affect things too, too much, but in the course of in the course of the game, over top of things... <laughs> I love just suddenly noticing things. That's a good that's a good time. Suddenly notice the number of things over here. So now if you have a look at the unit count, this is going to be a little bit curious. Because it's not fully what you would expect, but things that you would expect are probably gonna happen any second now. There we go. Um couple of kills there, managing to possibly douse that quick. Queen, yes, and here come oh, the Zerglings. No way. Are you serious? Here come the Zerglings to mop things up. But then the two the two groups of mutalisks do find each other, and it was a bit of a curious Oh it is kind of an even match with the seam 
the same number of mutalisks just sort of fighting each other throughout the air. However, what that guy Griff did have pretty early on is stopping the UCMOP from getting more than one base, and therefore when you're just on one base and trying to get mutalisks, it's kind of hard to get more mutalisks than your opponent, who is obviously on at least three base. Ah, UCMOP opting for the BM quit manner <laughs> pause fest give up just probably going to result in yeah if you look at that army supply it is now 71 army supply to 27 army supply the food supply Spoilers. is pretty much on par well i i must say <laughs> i believe the game to be pretty done at this point what these zerglings don't kill on your ramp down here these mutalisks will so I don't think these spine crawlers are going to last too, too long. The mutes are going to come in and do a little bit of damage. And then there's a little bit more... Now there's some roach. Roach and drone rush going on down here. And, yep, there's the roach taking taking care of a lot of that. But at the same time, the support... Oh, there's drones in that? What are they doing? I don't know. I think you may have just accidentally grabbed them all together. But oh, these, these drones are now going to get a little bit bottlenecked. Being able to surround these roaches might have done a bit better. But the problem is, is that the drones just sort of beating themselves against this wall. The mutalists are able, are able to own the skies, as it were, and the roaches are able to own the ground. So this is the classic 17-minute uh, mutalisk roach destruction macro base on three base right here and the army of this. But here come, here come three drones. After the pause game is over, the three drones are definitely going to make, make their way in here any minute now. And oh! and get all of the units run running past them, except there's a number of queens that are able to take them out. No, and I think that's approximately rush. it. This is only, oh yeah, <laughs> three drones left there for UC Mopi at the end. Woo! Lame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <sighs> Level six Zerg. Nice. Oh, Dat, oh yeah. 70 <laughs> APM. Dat 6 pool. I can, yeah, I considered a road rush, but I thought since I was playing blind and I didn't think Griff was Zerg because usually he fum mumbles about how he forgets how to do things. So I, I thought very, he was. I very intentionally did not do that today. Ah, the mind games. Okay, so yeah, I figured you were probably Terran or Protoss and I thought I'd give it a try. Oh, Terran is where I'm least comfortable. I'm way more comfortable with Zerg than I am with <laughs> Hence my 70 APM while playing a Zerg. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then it was kind of too late for a Roach, uh, roach Rush. So I, I just, I just want to say, away. no units, no pool, stop the 6 pool. You did, yep. Just with your... Yeah, um... I don't know what to do, what uh, to have done differently there. I mean, <laughs> I just threw them all into the breach. That seemed like the thing to do. Yep. Um, the thing you have to be careful of is I selected them all and drilled, did a mineral lock. Such that I was right in the like, like I let your zerglings attack like halfway down, and then I mineral locked through you, and then attacked again, so they all had to pick new targets, mm. which is really what saves. That's how you stop a six pool is a zerg is you use or you work or defend you mineral lock to sort of try to spread the damage out. Um, the only thing you could have done there is immediately like expand in response. Mm. Really. Yeah, I was kind of following through on the Overlord and Queen timing, so I didn't really have the money to expand like right then. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think the best bet would be to once the six pool, try to drone up behind it maybe. Well, that's kind of the idea of like throwing out the Queen immediately like afterwards, but yeah, I, I kind of had a mix of Lings and Zerglings after that, and I didn't really commit one way or the other. I probably should have just not made any more Lings. Yeah. And, but. Anywho. Ah, well. If you watch any roll, this leaves a comment down below. Send an email to contact at lime.lemon.com. You can follow us on Twitter at notlemon. There, there will be more where that came from.